Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm doing a get ready with me. I do have some errands to run today, so I'm not going to be doing anything like dramatic or like anything crazy. I'm just going to be pretty natural with my makeup look, um, but I figured I would just sit down and film and I haven't filmed a video in like two weeks. I've been crazy busy. We will go ahead and get started. And I don't know. Okay, so recently I've been changing my diet. I've not been eating out. Um, well, I've not been eating fast food. I've been drinking a lot of water and eating healthier, going to the gym every day. So I don't know if my skin is just detoxing because I wash my face every morning and night. I use a toner. I moisturize. I've been using masks. I guess my skin is just detoxing. I don't know. It's been detoxing for like a week now. I don't know. It's it's kind of annoying. Um, I have a lot, and a lot of it's like hyperpigmentation. Um, I real I have like I think two active like pimples right now. So I don't know. It's really annoying. But to cover up the redness, I'm just gonna go in with the Maybelline Cover Stick Corrector Concealer in the color green. Catch me outside. How about that? But really, what I do, I just kind of let this sink into my skin sink into that redness so it you know does its thing well if y'all are new to my channel um I want to know like where y'all are from I mean if you want me to like if you don't want me to know then that's fine too but um and has the weather been changing like been crazy bipolar like one day it's like 60 degrees and then the next it's like 55 40 and then it rains and it's cold again and then they're like calling for snow but then it changes and it's like no what'll be 50 degrees like our weather down here is so crazy bipolar right now when you have this like green like splotchy weirdness all over your face i'm gonna go in with primer and gonna go ahead and start on the face because we're not really doing that much to the eyes. I'm taking my favorite primer right now. This is the Lorac Pore Perfection Mattifying Face Primer. I talked about this in my last video, I think. So if you want to check those videos out, you can. But yeah, this is my favorite primer at the moment. So I'm just going to take like a small pea-sized amount and just warm it up in between my hands like so and just place it on my t-zone because that's where i get oily and where i want my pores to kind of be covered i'm gonna film another video i'm gonna film my january favorites so be on the look for that and i kind of want to do a valentine's day look so let me know if y'all want to see that, if you want to see something a little bit more sweet and soft, or if you want to see something like dramatic and sexy for like a nighttime. Um, or I can do both. I can take it from like daytime to nighttime. Just let me know if that's something you might want to see, um, because Valentine's is in three weeks, so I kind of need to know so I can go ahead and plan out what I'm filming. Um... Because right after I get done filming this video, I'm going to film my January favorites video. And I'm really excited about that. Because I have so many products that I've been loving. Like, absolutely obsessed with this month. So I'm really excited to film that. Um, but yeah, like I said, just tweet me or leave a comment, like this video, something. Let, letting me know what February Valentine's Day look you want me to do. So I'm going to go ahead and go in with foundation. I'm going to go in with the CoverGirl Clean Matte BB Cream. Yeah. And I'm in the color 520 Light. I didn't want to go in with a foundation that was too heavy. Um, like I said, I am just going to run a few errands today. I have to go get my teeth cleaned and um, have to meet a girl. She's buying a few things from me that I'm selling. Um, and then I want to go to TJ Maxx to look at their, like, workout pants because they have a lot of cute workout pants for, like, super cheap. I'm gonna go there and, um, probably go to the gym tonight, so if I don't have a chance to take off my makeup, it's not gonna be, like, super cakey and, like, thick on my face. Facebook last night, um... And there was, like, a picture of a beauty blender, and it was like, ask your boyfriend what this is and leave it in the comments. So, 
I I've never laughed so hard I swear so I asked my boyfriend what he thought it was and he said it's a pink droplet and I was laughing and he was like no he goes it's a pounder I said a pounder and he was like yeah you pound your face with it and I was like bless you and for concealer I'm gonna take the flower beauty concealer I've really been loving this recently um in the color BC2 it's like one of those felt tip or brush tip applicators and you just twist it and the product comes out I like it it's really creamy and really easy to blend um, I had like mixed feelings about it when I first got it because I didn't get the lightest shade and I, I don't know I don't I didn't think I really liked the color but I guess now I kind of do because I've been using it like the past two weeks I'm gonna blend this out oh can you see that NYC Smooth Skin Translucent Powder, and I'm just going to brush this all over my face, press it onto my skin before I start sweeping it across my face, just because I don't want my foundation, I feel like it pulls at my foundation, and I don't want, like, any patchiness um, in my foundation or anything, so that's a bronzer, y'all know, I need to try out a new bronzer, because I have literally only used this bronzer, I'm so obsessed with this bronzer, <laughs> I know you're probably tired of hearing me use this and hearing me talk about it. Wet and Wild Color Icon. Ooh. Take it to Brazil. This is like, this is my second pan and I've already hit paint on it. So, I'm just taking my fluffy brush. For blush, I recently just bought this but I'm already in love with it. It's actually going to be in my January favorites. Um, It's the Milani Powder Brush. It's the Milani Powder Blush in Romantic Rose, and it's like the one with the rose front is clear. I'm sure you guys have seen Milani's packaging. Um, but I really like this because it's like a dusty mauve, dusty rose, like mauve shade, and I've actually been using it for eyeshadow, and that's what I'm going to be using today for eyeshadow. Um... I don't know, it's just really natural, and it just looks so pretty and, like, girly and feminine on the cheeks, and I love it. And then I'm just going to blend it out. And then, for eyes, I'm going to use the same thing on my Morphe M139 brush, a tapered crease brush. I use this brush so much. I'm so in love with this brush. It's probably my favorite eyeshadow brush right now. Um, and I'm just going to pick some eyeshadow up on my brush and just like dust that into my crease and um just kind of give my crease a little bit of depth but I didn't really have that many misses and if I did like for example I tried out the Anastasia stick foundation and I hated it so I returned it, so for, like I couldn't have, you know, shown you, I mean I, I wouldn't say I hated it, but I didn't like it. I mean, I returned it, so I didn't like it. But I exchanged it for something that I'm in love with. Lashes, I'm using my all time favorite mascara, this is the Tarte Tardiest Mascara. I'm so in love with this mascara, I can't even, like, I, I can't get enough of it. I use it literally every single day. Is it, is it just me or, like, I mean, I'm sure it's not. But if you were, like, on a deserted island, what would be your number one make? And you had to take, you could only take one makeup item. What would yours be? Mine would definitely be, be mascara. Definitely. It's in the color Aura. Um, and it's like the pinky shimmery one. And I'm just going to use the little brush that it comes with and just pick up some product and just lightly dust that over my blush. I think it's gorgeous as a blush topper. Off with my Buxom lip cream in white Russian. 
It's just a lip gloss. I haven't used this stuff in a while. So the only thing that I really don't like about this product is the taste. If you get this in your mouth, it's disgusting. So now that the face is done, I will go ahead and start straightening my hair. Ow, ow. Hi guys, whoa, this lighting is bomb. Oh, well it was. What happened? So I have already like sectioned my hair. Um, I'm not going to go like in detail of how I straighten my hair. Some things on my lens. Um, sprayed some heat protectant in it. I use the Trust Me heat protectant. I'm taking my Nano Silver hair straightener. I got this at Sally's. Uh, I love this straightener. And now I'm just going to straighten my hair. guys thank you so much for watching my video like I said in the video if you want me to do um if you want me to if you want me to do a Valentine's Day tutorial or makeup look just let me know tweet me I will leave all of my social media down below and you can come follow me on there and I would love it if you would and don't forget to be on the look for my January favorites it's coming right after this video and then if you want me to do the February, if you want me to do the Valentine's Day look, that will be after the January favorites. So if you are new here, please subscribe and don't forget to hit that bell next to the subscribe button so you get notified every time I upload. Like I said, I hope you, I hope you are, I hope you all are having a good week so far and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.